We've been ambushed by a Sith battle fleet. The Endar Spire is under attack. Hurry up, we don't have much time. Did you fall out of your bunk and hit your head? The Endar Spire is the ship we're stationed on. This ship. You probably don't even know who I am, do you? I'm Tras Olgo, ensign with the Republic fleet. I'm your bunkmate here on the Endar Spire. We work opposite ships. I guess that's why you haven't seen me before. Now hurry up! We have to find Bastila. We have to make sure she makes it off the ship alive. You swore an oath to protect Bastila when you signed up with this mission, just like everyone else in the crew. Now it's time to make good on that oath. I know she may not have an official rank in the fleet, but she's the one in charge of this mission, and it's our duty to protect her. I heard what everyone's saying about you. You've explored the farthest reaches of the galaxy. You've visited planets I've never even heard of. People with your skills and abilities are hard to find. It's no wonder the Republic recruited you for this mission. But now's the time to prove yourself. I know you're a scout and not a soldier, but Bastila needs all troops at her side during this attack. Don't be stupid. You won't stand a chance against the Sith by yourself. We gotta stick together if you wanna make it out of this alive. So hurry up and grab your gear. You need to suit up so we can get out of here. Okay, let's move out. We should stick together. You'll have more success with a party than on your own. This is Cardinal Nassi. The Sith are threatening to overrun our position. We can't hold out long against their firepower. All hands to the bridge! That was Karp contacting us on our portable communicators. He's one of the Republic's best pilots. He's seen more combat than the rest of the Endar Spire's crew put together. If he says things are bad, you better believe it. We have to get to the bridge. <laughs> These Sith must be the advanced boarding party for the Republic! <laughs> I've got a feeling that won't be our last battle with the Sith. Good thing we have med packs to heal our wounds. Jedi accompanying Bastila. Damn, we could have used her help. Bastila's not here on the bridge. They must have retreated to the escape pod. We better head that way too. The Sith want Bastila alive, but once she's off the ship, there's nothing stopping them from blasting the Endar Spire into galactic dust. There's something behind here. Damn, another Dark Jedi. I'll try to hold him off. You get to the escape pods. Go! This is Carthel Nassi on your personal communicator. I'm tracking your position through the Endar Spire's life support systems. Basilis escape pod is away. You're the last surviving crew member on the Endar Spire. Now I can't wait for you much longer. You have to get to the escape pods. <laughs> Be careful. There's a whole squad. 
squad of Sith troopers on the other side of that door. You need to find some way to thin their numbers. <laughs> You've made it just in time. There's only one active escape pod left. Come on, we can hide out on the planet below. I'm a soldier with the Republic, like you. We're the last two crew members left on the Endar Spire. Basila's escape pod's already gone, so there's no reason for us to stick around here and get shot by the Sith. Good to see you up instead of thrashing about in your sleep. You must have been having one hell of a nightmare. I was wondering if you were ever going to wake up. I'm Karth, one of the Republic soldiers from the Endar Spire. I was with you on the escape pod. Do you remember? You've been slipping in and out of consciousness for a couple of days now, so I imagine you're pretty confused about things. But try not to worry. We're safe. At least for the moment. We're in an abandoned apartment on the planet of Terrace. We're banged up pretty bad when our escape pod crashed, but luckily I wasn't seriously hurt. I was able to drag you away from our crash site and all the confusion, and I stumbled into this abandoned apartment. By the time the Sith arrived on the scene, we were long gone. Terrace is under Sith control. Their fleet is orbiting the planet. They've declared martial law, and they've imposed a planet-wide quarantine. But I've been in worse spots. I saw on your service records that you understand a remarkable number of alien languages. It's pretty rare in a raw recruit, but it should come in handy while we're stranded on a foreign world. There is no way the Republic will be able to get anyone through the Sith blockade to help us. If we're gonna find Bastila and get off this planet, we can't rely on anybody but ourselves. That smack to your head did more damage than I thought. Bastila's a Jedi. She was with the strike team that killed Darth Revan, Malak's Sith Master. Bastila's the key to the whole Republic war effort. The Sith must have found out that she was on the Endar Spire and set an ambush for us in this system. I believe Bastila was on one of the escape pods that crashed down here in Terrace. For the sake of the Republic war effort, we have to try and find her. I don't think you understand the situation. Well, we can't hide on this planet forever. Eventually the Sith will find us, and trust me, you don't want that. Getting off this world isn't gonna be easy. We're probably gonna need Bastila's help. Not to mention that without her, the whole Republic war effort is doomed. I don't, but Bastila's young, and she has a powerful command of the Force. We survived the crash landing, so I'm willing to bet that she may have too. Besides, what's the alternative? I mean, if she's dead, then no one can stop Malak and his Sith from wiping out the Republic, and I'd rather operate on the assumption that she survived. Basila is no ordinary Jedi. She has a rare gift the Jedi call battle meditation. Basila's power can influence entire armies. Through the Force, Basila can inspire her allies with confidence and make her enemies lose their will to fight. Often that's all it takes to tip the balance in a battle. Of course there are limits to what she can do, but from what I understand of her ability, it requires great concentration and focus to maintain her battle meditation. The attack on the Endar Spire happened so fast, she never had a chance to use her battle meditation. Like us, she barely got out alive. Vassal's gonna need our help. Many of Darth Malak's followers can use the dark side of the Force, and the Sith have already killed more than their share of Jedi in this war. Nobody will be looking for a couple of common soldiers like us. And if we're careful, we can move about the planet without attracting notice. A luxury Bastila won't have. She's gonna have half the Sith fleet looking for her. They know how important she is to the war effort. The whole planet is under quarantine. No ships can land or take off. So if Bastila's gonna escape Terrace, she's gonna need our help. And we'll probably need hers. You mean, besides a chance to get off this planet before the Sith find you? Do, you? do you have any idea what the Sith do to prisoners of war? 
Oh, I get it. Never mind that the Sith will destroy the Republic and ravage the galaxy. You're only in this for the credits. Don't worry, the Republic pays its mercenaries well. You help me find Bastila, and they'll make it more than worth your while, I'm sure. Plus, it might be your only chance to get off Terrace. Good. We're gonna need to work together if we're gonna survive. While you were out, I did some scouting around. There are reports of a couple of skate pods crashing down into the Undercity. It's probably a good place to start. But the Undercity's a dangerous place. We don't want to go there unprepared, and it won't do Bastila any good if we go and get ourselves killed. Good idea. We can use this abandoned apartment as a base. We can probably get some equipment and supplies here in the Upper City. Just remember to keep a low profile. I've heard some grim stories about the Dark Jedi interrogation techniques. They say the Force can do terrible things to a mind wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. But I figure if we don't do anything stupid, we should be okay. I mean, after all, they're, they're looking for Bastila, not a couple of grunts like us. All right, soldier, let's move out. Right, you alien scum. Everybody, get up against the wall. This is a raid. <laughs> That's how we sit deal with smart mouth aliens. Now the rest of you, get up against the wall before I lose my temper again. What's this? Humans hiding out with aliens? They're Republic fugitives! Attack! <laughs> Ready. Ready. This car do suki goomba na bona na gachu. Al to inko tu. Yami just kuna chitanai. Ina kun mama ruli ra ra chikun. La boda ni winky smack toma. Who are you? What are you doing in here? You can't just come barging into someone's home. You're as bad as that pig Holden. I'll stay out of your way, but you're wasting your time. I don't have anything worth stealing. I can't help you there. Since this thing with Holden, I've been scared to leave my apartment. I don't know anything about what's going on in the outside world anymore. Just one of Darvik's men who can't keep his hands to himself. But all he got for his trouble was a nasty scar from my vibroblade. Too bad I'm the one still paying the price. I don't want to talk about it. I'm in enough trouble already. Besides, I don't know if I can trust you. Okay, I'll tell you. J just try and stay calm. The last thing I need is trouble with you and Holden. Holden's a spiteful little hut slug. He went and put out a bounty on my head for what I did. That's why I'm hiding out here. Wait, think about what you're doing. If that pig had just kept his hands to himself, I wouldn't have had to give him that scar with my vibroblade. He gets drunk and tries to force himself on me, and I get a bounty put on my head for defending myself. Where's the justice in that? Holden's the one to blame, not me. What's wrong with you? She doesn't deserve this. Then you're going to learn the same lesson I taught Holden. I'm not as helpless as I look. Uh. You asked for this! <laughs> 